Well, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, TGIF, guys, TGIF. Man, it's going to be a great, great weekend. It's Labor Day weekend. Everybody, make sure that you take a little time this weekend to relax, maybe throw something on the grill. Come on, get some of those good groceries going up in here. I know I'm going to Sunday, although I do have a busy weekend. I want to work on the clearing over there and get some of the big trees down. Um, when SLR and Country Road Cure comes over, there's about six pine trees that's right around the cabin and sawmill area in that clearing that we're going to go ahead and drop and put on the ground. Um, not going to process it and all that and make a full day's work of it. We're just going to get them down while, while I got a little help here. Tomorrow, I, uh, <coughs> Margarita will be here. She's actually going to get here tonight. And uh, I'm going to start taking down some of the bigger trees that's further back in the woods that's not around anything, so I don't have to worry so much. And then keep working on that clearing. Um, yesterday, man, I put it in yesterday. As I said yesterday on my video, I stayed up until about 4 o'clock in the morning editing and then only got about three hours sleep and then had to go and uh, help out two other fellow homesteaders um, at two different locations yesterday. And I didn't end up getting back home yesterday until dark. Um, so about 8, 8.30, somewhere around there. It was a long, long, long day. And, uh, man, I worked the what's happening <laughs> off of Uber yesterday. That tractor right there never, never ceases to amaze me. The stuff that it accomplishes is just absolutely insane. We're not doing monsters this morning, guys. We're going to get up on some of that coffee. Come on. I have decided that I'm going to stop drinking Monsters and I'm going to switch to coffee, um, especially with winter time coming up. Um, I like uh, coffee in the winters whenever it's a little colder outside. And the mornings and the evenings has been cooling down a little bit, so I figured it was a good time to switch. So, cheers to that. That's a fancy coffee cup, ain't it? Come on. <laughs> it's actually one of those mule cups for uh, the mule drinks or whatever, but it works great for a coffee cup. Yeah, but it's going to be a busy, busy weekend. I'm planning on doing that. I would like to get some more of these stumps dug up around the cabin. Um, I am this close to being able to take that back off the uh, tractor. So I got a couple of more things I want to do. Um, there's about, I would say, four or five more stumps that I need to get up. And then I will be happy with taking the back off. I, I think I'm... Finally, to a point, I could do that. Um, it's also going to have a lot to depend with uh, the stumps and stuff that I end up with with cutting down the trees in the clearing. I'm not really concerned about getting all the stumps and stuff out of the clearing. Right now, it's fine for them to be there and start breaking down a little bit. Um, I will have to deal with them at some point, but it's not something I have to do right now. My immediate concern right now is right around the cabin because... I'm trying to get the cabin area cleaned up, leveled out, and all of that. That way I can have like a blank slate to kind of see where I want to actually put things. And, you know, because this ground, it's flat right here, but it shifts down and up and it's all over the place. And the, it's kind of hard to see where things would be really a good fit without getting it all cleared out and level and kind of kind of seeing how I want to set up the main area of the homestead. I want it to be well thought out, very functional, and uh, make sure that I have room to get around with the tractor or cutting grass and all of that. I'm really trying to think it out the best that I can for efficiency in the future. Because if you make your projects on a homestead difficult, and not thought out well, it ends up biting you in the rump shaker later on because the more time you spend on projects like that, the less time that you've got to advance the homestead or to maintain the homestead. So I try to, when I build things and I lay things out, to put a lot of thought into it um, just for efficiency and automation and and all of that, you know, like with your animals and stuff like that. The more that you can make it to where it can actually do its own watering and, and all of that. And even to be able to 
you know, be able to go like three or four days with feeding without you manually having to do it, the better off you'll be, especially with like emergencies and stuff like that to come up where you might have to go out of town and stuff like that. Uh, especially when you're out here by yourself, um, there's nobody else to kind of stay behind and kind of take care of your stuff. So the more automated that you can make it, the better. So I am all about automation and uh, self waterers and stuff like that. So I try to think about all of that and I try to think about placement. Placement is important, whether it be because of weather, the sun, you know, stuff like that, or just ease of access and stuff like that. And also you got to think about the smells, <laughs> you know, you don't want to put a bunch of stinky stuff right by where you're living because then every morning you're going to smell that booyah caca. <laughs> and ain't nobody wanting to smell the booyah caca every morning. So it's good to uh, think about that too. Like I want, I want animals close. Um, but I don't want them too close, if you know what I mean. But so you want them close enough to be convenient to be able to take care of them and stuff like that. The ones that need a lot of attention because different animals need different things. You know, some animals need like there's no getting around it. Every day you're going to have to do something with them and stuff like that. And there's some of them that if you got it set up right, I mean, you, you can kind of go hang out with them every couple of days, you know, so. It all depends, but yeah, you got to think that out. And right now I'm in the thinking process. Um, I know I said yesterday about my laptop crashing and all of that. I'm going to make some changes today. It's actually a, a very gloomy, rainy day. It's funny. Margarita told me yesterday that uh, she was going to kick my booty if I didn't take a day off and uh, rest. <laughs> so for all of y'all that worry about me, trust me, Margarita is on me. Um, she's not going to let me get burnt out and uh, end up getting sick and stuff again. Uh, she is definitely riding my butt. Um, and that's a full-time job to say the least on its own because uh, it's hard to slow me down. I like to, uh, I like to get it. I love to work. And I, and I love, you know, I don't know. I don't like every job I do. Trust me, some jobs just suck. But it's a necessity. They need to get done. But I do love the end result. I love taking something that is really rough and turn it into something that's beautiful. And uh, that's kind of what I'm trying to do here on Big Picture. Uh, this cabin looked extremely rough whenever I bought it uh, five months ago. And it is starting to have some sexy to it. I'm bringing the sexy to come on mountain. So it's exciting. And whenever I think about that and I see the, you know, what I accomplished at the end of the day, it drives me for the next day. So... It's hard to slow me down, but I'm I'm listening. I'm listening. I'm not going to take the day completely off because I, I don't know, man. That just there's too much to do for me to just take a, a full day off. I'm already planning on taking a little time this weekend off. So my plan today is work inside the cabin. Um, I need to get my desk area out of where it's at right now because that's going to be the future bathroom of the cabin. So all of that stuff has to come out anyways. So I'm going to rearrange the cabin today, get my desk in a different area, set up a new office area there in the cabin. And then I'm going to set my desktop up. Um, that way I can do my editing and stuff on my desktop instead of my laptop. And uh, that'll buy me some time to be able to take my laptop apart, uh, run some tests on it, all of that other stuff, and find out exactly what's really going on with it because it's definitely blue screening. Whether it's the RAM, it's the graphics card, something like that. Um, I'm hoping it's just a RAM issue. I'm hoping the RAM just needs to be reseated, or maybe it needs more RAM beings that I'm processing 4K video now. So I don't know. I'm, I'm going to research it, and it also probably needs some updates and stuff like that. I haven't done a whole lot to it in a while. So, you know, I got to put my IT hat on and go ahead and uh, do some diagnostics and stuff like that and figure out what's wrong with it. But I do have backups, you know, with being an IT, um, you learn real quick about redundancy. Um, you need redundancy with everything. And it's funny that it translates into my day to day life as well, because I am huge on redundancy. Um, whether it be for watering systems, electric, all of that other stuff. That's why I have three generators, you know. And even when I got solar, I still want those generators as a backup. I, I like everything to have a backup. So you can never be too prepared, you know what I mean? 
So I will be setting that up and rearranging the cabin a little bit. I can't do it exactly the way I want right now because eventually um, during this renovation until the upstairs gets done, where the kitchen is right now will actually be the bedroom when I move that wall and uh, make the bathroom uh, area smaller and the kitchen area bigger. At that point, my bed will be able to fit in that kitchen area like a bedroom. Um, it won't be a lot of space, but it'll be enough for the bed to be able to get around it to make the bed, stuff like that. And it gets that big bed out of the main living area, which will open up that cabin tremendously. And uh, I'll be able to have my desk and little office area there and the kitchen area in the open area and have a lot of space for both and also room for people to sit and kind of hang out and socialize and stuff like that. Because that bed is huge. Uh, I don't know if the camera does it justice exactly how big that bed set is. So if I can get that out of the main living area and tuck it away in its own little corner, um, that would be a game changer as far as functionality and flow here inside the cabin. Because it's going to be a while before we start the upstairs. Um, I still got to mill all the wood, stuff like that. It's got to dry, all of that. We got a lot of other projects to do in between then like a bridge, um, a pump house, solar house, I need a woodshed, you know, there's quite a bit of different things that, that I need um, that I could be waiting on for that to dry and be ready for that. So still going to be busy today, but it's going to be a lot lighter work. Um, I'm also going to edit a video today. Um, I'm going to try to get out what I got into yesterday out tomorrow for you guys. Um, you know, a little Homestead Rescue Come On Edition. <laughs> I mean, that might be what I title it. What do y'all think about that title, guys? Let me know in the comments if y'all like that. Oh, Homestead Rescue Come On Edition. I love that show, by the way. Marty Ramey and all of them are amazing. Um, I do watch it, and I like it, and they do a great job. And he's quite the character. So I think it would be cool to do a play off of that. But it was fun, and uh, everybody... Yesterday uh, was extremely grateful and happy with the result, so, and I am too. It was a good time. It makes me feel good to be able to kind of go help out and uh, kind of give back a little bit. Um, not everybody has an Uber, you know, and uh, Uber can definitely make short work or something that could take months um, if you had to do it by hand. So when I'm able, um, I'll get out there and try to help as much as I can. And uh, it's just good to build that community. You know what I mean? Friends helping friends. That, that That's kind of what it's all about. But this is going to be a short one today, guys, because I'm trying to relax a little bit. I, I know my day probably doesn't sound relaxing to most, but uh, it's, uh, it's relaxing for me. Um, it's definitely a lot slower, a little rearranging, computer setup, editing, you know, cleaning, stuff like that. that that's like a day off around the homestead, so because uh, we got a lot of projects that we got to get in that is a little bit uh, a little bit uh, strenuous on the old body. Come on. But I hope everybody has a great Labor Day weekend. Make sure that you have a great time this weekend. Take some time for yourself. And also, I haven't told you in a while, reach out to somebody that you have not talked to in a while. Labor Day weekend is a great weekend to do that, just to check in on somebody that you ain't spoke to in a couple of months or even a couple of years. And just tell them that you're thinking about them and that you just wanted to kind of give them a call or reach out or reach out to them. Uh, slide into the DMs. Come on. Come on and slide into the DMs. And uh, just make somebody's day because I promise at the end of the day, it's going to end up making yours. Until we see each other again, guys, hey, hey, come on, keep it real.